today we are going to have a look at a SecureX orchestration workflow that you can easily set up if you have a Cisco umbrella deployment in your environment. One of the key questions from customers is around configuring umbrella alerting, which it does not do natively. So this is a nice way to get a certain amount of alerting from your umbrella instance. At a high level, this workflow queries Cisco umbrella for hits on certain predefined categories every hour and adds those to a Cisco threat response incident. Then it alerts the administrators via a WebEx Teams bot. This workflow is a low code workflow, and by that I mean that it utilizes a certain amount of Python scripting to achieve the desired output. The Python that has been written is not anything complicated, and someone with basic knowledge of Python would be able to recreate. So, looking through the workflow, this is fairly short. We start off by running an atomic action to generate a token, which will then be used for subsequent queries to Umbrella for actual data. Then using that token, we request all of the data for the past hour for the categories that we have predefined, which in this case is all of the security categories, so things such as command and control and malware. Following on from that, we do a quick basic check to make sure that the data we get back from Umbrella is valid. If not, we will send a message to a WebEx Teams room to alert admins that there has been an issue with the API request. If the request is OK, then we run a basic Python script to extract the observables from the API request response and format it so that it plays nicely with the Cisco threat response atomic actions in the following steps. These steps create the CTR incident and attach the observables ready for processing. Finally, at the end of the workflow, we send a message to WebEx teams via the bot with details of the incident. This text can be fully customized and adapted to whatever your requirements may be. This is a simple example for this demo.